All right, everyone, here's a quick video on how the login process works for Zoom meetings. I know we've had some issues over the past couple days with people logging in with the wrong email accounts and stuff like that. So I wanted to make a quick video explaining how this process works so we don't run into any issues for this class or for any of your other classes moving forward. So first things first, before we even click any Zoom links or start any meetings, we need to do one quick thing, and that's actually go to the website zoom.us, which is where I'm going to go right now. And once you get there, you're going to be prompted to sign in. So that's I'm going to click that option here on the top right. And this is where we freeze. There's a trick right here that I'm circling with my mouse, and it says sign in, and it's really big, and it's at the top of the screen. And we're actually going to skip that and move down to the middle of the screen where it says sign in with Google. That's what we need to do in order to make sure our unit or email address is going to work and I'll be able to access these meetings. So go ahead and click this middle option, which says sign in with Google. And depending on your Google settings, you'll either need to type in your username or your and your password, or it might already be saved if you've done other stuff with Google in your browser before. It looks like it's already saved for me. So all I need to do is click this, and it should be good to go. And then once it recognizes my email and my password, it's going to log me into Google, or log me into Zoom, excuse me, with all of the right information, so it's not going to be an issue. Real quick, there's one other way we can do this as well, in case you, you happen to have the app on your computer. So open up your Zoom application, and we're going to click Sign In. And just like before, we're not going to use the Sign In option on the right. We're going to use the Sign In option over here in the middle that says Sign In with Google. So go ahead and click that. And then it's going to redirect you to a web page that looks pretty similar to what we were just at earlier, if my, if my web page ever loads. And it's going to say, yeah, we're going to sign in with one of our Google accounts. So go ahead and select your Unit 4 Google account right here. And just like that, always allow google.zoom.us to open links. Sure, let's open Zoom links. Yeah. And just like that, it's going to activate my Zoom account, and it's going to be all good. So once we've made it this far, now we can successfully open our link. So let's go to classroom.google.icanspell.com. And let's just use the marching band page as an example here. There's two places where you can access this link. One is at the very top of the page, so you can go ahead and copy this, Control-C and then paste it right here into the very top, and then push enter, and then that'll take you to the meeting. Or a better way, which you will probably have to use when we have more than one meeting going at a time, is going to your classwork tab, and then the resources page. There's usually going to be a Zoom link there. So go ahead and click the link that you see that's applicable to you. It might be a brass-only link. It might be a woodwinds and percussion link. So click the link that matters to you in your section. And then once you have all of these settings complete, it's going to launch the meeting with your Unit 4 ID. So that's basically it. If you have any other questions, please reach out to me. I know this is a pretty challenging process to get used to, especially with Zoom school in the first place, but now we have this new login process. So I'm here to help you however I can. So if you have any issues or any other questions, please reach out to me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day whenever you see this.